Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee, and if you're new, thank you so much for clicking on my video. This video is going to be a what to pack for drama school video. So before I went to drama school, I didn't really know what to take. I took pretty much everything I own. I definitely didn't need to. And every year I seem to take more and more. This year, I'm not allowed to take that much stuff because I've got to fit it all in the car. We hired a van last year because I had that much stuff. But I'm moving back into halls, I'm moving into a studio flat. So some stuff is provided but not everything. So I have to sort of take the essentials like a hoover and a toaster. So this is sort of narrowing down what you actually need for drama school. I really hope this video helps someone out there who is going to drama school who doesn't know what to pack or if you've been before and you think oh gosh I always take the wrong things what do I really need I really hope this helps you guys and please share it and whatever with people you know that are going to drama school because it'll hopefully help them and it will also help my channel so thank you so much let's just get on with the video if you like it remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm moving back to drama school next week, so there's going to be loads of drama school content, behind the scenes of third year, I'm scared, you're scared, we're all scared. Auditions begin. <laughs> so let's go. The first thing you absolutely need a lot of is black clothing. You really do need a lot of black clothing. You have to wear black clothing every day. So that's Monday to Friday, and you're wearing it for like nine hours a day. So you can't really rewear that much stuff. It does get really sweaty with movement and things like that. So make sure you have tons of it. You need leggings, shorts, trackies, short tops, crop tops, sports bras, long sleeve tops, jumpers, literally anything you can imagine, get it in black because you're gonna need it at some point. Even like long black skirts, for some things you might need those sorts of things, but I pretty much just wear leggings every day. My best advice for where to get black clothing from, if you are on a budget, like I always am, go to Primark, go to their sportswear, and just get a bunch of their black sportswear. Some teachers and drama schools prefer no logos, and some don't really mind a little bit, so make sure you're still going with your drama school's guidelines for what they want you to have for clothing. But yeah, as I said, like, I wear Primark stuff, I also have like New Look, H&M, those sorts of places. Get a wide variety, you can mix and match them. The studios will vary in temperature. Um, and it, as well, you're there from the whole year, so in summer you'll be wanting shorts and vest tops, in winter you'll be in trackies, big socks and hoodies. So that's my first thing, make sure you have a lot of them and like backups, especially if you're staying in halls you have to pay for washing and the washing is expensive, so bear that one in mind um, because it is pricey. Now other than black clothing, I would recommend getting just normal sportswear as well. Um, I go to the gym quite a lot or do that like, exercise or even just walking around. I mean just sportswear in general is very helpful. If your drama school isn't as particular about wearing black clothing for every lesson then you might be able to wear just like normal sportswear um, instead of black sportswear or black leggings and tops. So just a lot of sportswear is very handy. Most drama schools have a kit list of what you need before you go and mine definitely did. I did buy some things that I haven't actually used yet but I know they'll come in handy at some point. Shoes is quite a big one so most drama schools on their kit list will have a list of shoes. You need like modern shoes, jazz shoes, ballet shoes depending on your course. Um, I already had two different types of jazz shoe I think so yeah, I already had those, I didn't buy them extra, but some courses you need them, some courses you don't. So make sure you need them before you spend that much money on them. Another thing you will probably need are character shoes, and I haven't actually, I don't think, no, I've used mine once. I used mine once for a solo in a show, and that was it. So make sure you actually need them before you buy them, because, yeah, yeah, again, they're expensive for if you're not going to use them, but I already had them from a show I did at school, so... If you've got them, take them because you never know when you're going to need them or someone else might need to borrow them off you. But quite a lot of the time at uh, our drama school, if you've got a Facebook page and you don't have character shoes or something like that, if you just write on the Facebook page, does anyone have any in this size, please can I borrow them? Quite often um, people do have them. So if you only need them for a one-off, don't buy them. You can definitely borrow some. But if you've already got some, then take them because other people might borrow them or you might need them for a show. The next thing is plays. If you've got a play, take it. 
I take all the plays that I've ever done in English or drama, GCSE, A level, blah blah blah. I have books that have plays adapted from them. I have the full works of Shakespeare and then I have about 30 other plays. So I take all my plays with me just in case I ever need them for a monologue or something or if you just need to recap plays that you haven't read or if you've got I've got quite a few of like the works so I've got like the Chekhov ones the Shakespeare and the Middleton ones so they're quite handy because they usually have like three or four plays in them and it means you're only taking like three books but actually you're taking loads of plays so plays are always helpful you never know when you're gonna need an audition or whether your teacher is just gonna say find the monologue, bring it in in two days time. Obviously you can find quite a lot online, but if you've got the plays, then having them there is very, very helpful. And alongside that, some courses will require certain books and I definitely needed a few. I have like World Theatre Histories and Performance Studies, they're just down there, that's why I'm looking down there. So I needed to buy those before I went to drama school and we used them in first and second year and a couple of other books as well that we were required to have for literally the first week back. Uh, the first week in first year, I mean not the first week back, the first week in first year we needed those books. So um, they'll be on your kit list if you need them specifically, but sometimes teachers will just spring on you, right, you need this play for next week. So Amazon Prime is uh, quite helpful, <laughs> or a library if they have the books, but they don't always, so yeah, Amazon Prime does help you out quite a bit as a student, I think. Another thing that I never thought I would need in first year but I definitely have needed these sorts of things throughout the first two years of drama school is like arts and crafts. So make sure you've got all your normal stationery, pens, pencils, rubber, da da da. Quite a few teachers like you to get quite creative with your homeworks and bringing things into lessons. But then in my second year, um, if any of you have followed my Instagram or my professional Instagram or anything, Facebook or whatever, you'll know that I made a mask it's right there but it's actually a little bit broken so I need to fix it uh, I'm not going to show it I had to make a mask in second year for one of my modules my mask module obviously for that I obviously needed lots of arts and crafts things, supplies and some were provided from uni but it was just a lot easier to have our own things for at home because I painted mine at home and did lots of work on it at home rather than at uni so I bought paints, glue uh, what else did I buy? Wool. It's gonna come into use again. Uh, so I didn't buy it and waste it in a way. I've used it for my maths project, obviously, and I've still got loads of the supplies that I can use for future projects or things like that, arts and craftsy things. Just random stuff like that. You don't think you'll need it, but if you've got it already, then take it if you think it might apply to one of your modules or your course then it's handy to just have it anyway because um, everyone's on a budget when they're a student you don't want to be thinking about extra expenditure so just take stuff like that if you've got it it will probably come in handy now for your lessons you will definitely need notebooks um, I usually well in first year I think I had two notebooks like big ones and they were for different subjects and or different modules and then second year I think I had like one or oh, I had folders I don't really know I had sort of different things for different modules um, and then in lockdown I had one book split into three for the three different modules so work out a way that you like to organize your notebooks and notes folders work well but notebooks are good for lecture lessons and my course does have lecture lessons not all drama school courses do but mine does the big file folders work really well for scripts monologues run a piece of paper that you get given and make sure you have the plastic files to go in them or a hole punch but a hole punch the only problem with that is that your papers get really ripped and if it's really vital information that you want to look back on in like five years time from your first year voice classes then I would suggest putting it in plastic wallets in your file and then you know it's all safe I've got all mine down there in my desk and if I ever think about a lesson that we did in first year or second year I can go back to those and find the information that I want voice articulation movement etc um, they're all in there and another thing this isn't really what to pack this is uh, just a little top tip if you do classes like movement then write down what you did after each class and then make like a typed up document of it and put it in your files because most people don't do that and then you're gonna forget what you did in the whole of first year movement uh, whereas at the end of each term I think it was or the end of every few weeks I would just type up what we've done the past few weeks 
print it out and it's in my files so I remember what I did in first year movement because we don't do movement in second year and I can go and look back on that it was things like yoga different exercises moving in different ways um lots of random stuff but that's just a little top tip type up stuff if you didn't write it down in the lesson because with movement you don't really have time to go and write it down and then come back to the lesson you're very engaged in the lesson and we had four hours of movement every Thursday morning so you don't write anything you've got to remember it all type it it's done that's just a little top tip but yeah files notebooks or folders whatever you want however you organize notes and uh, handouts and things scripts well then make sure you've got the correct stationery I don't know if is it classes yeah it's classes stationery make sure you've got the correct stationery for that with drama school being Monday to Friday I highly recommend don't take your whole wardrobe of um, normal clothes like I always do because I actually have quite a lot of clothes I'm trying to sell them all on eBay so if you want to go on my eBay and try and find some of my clothes and buy them that would be really helpful. Don't take all your clothes because you definitely don't need them especially with these awful circumstances going on in the world at the moment. I'm trying to make it light-hearted but there's not going to be any nights out so don't bother taking all your dresses and stuff because there's just not going to be any point for it. In first year I took loads of sparkly dresses and yeah I did actually wear them in first year because we went out every weekend without a doubt. This year, I don't think that's going to be happening. I think the most fancy thing you'll need is a pair of jeans and a nice top if you go out to Spoons or if you go out, you know, for a meal with your friends. Unless you're in London, I'm not in London. If you're in London and you want to go to some bougie bars, then you might need a sparkly dress. But where I am, you don't need it. Make sure you've got jeans. Jeans are a lifesaver. Every weekend, just put on my jeans if I'm going out to town, if I'm doing my food shop. Jeans, trackies, flares, and just a, an assortment of tops and hoodies, coat. Just your usual socialising wear, but nothing too fancy. If you have fancy dress stuff, that's always helpful at uni, uh, at drama school or uni, because sometimes it's like themes, but I just don't really know what the situation is going to be like this year. However, if eventually you do have house parties and nights out start to happen again, you might have themed nights. We had themed initiations and stuff, but I, they're not going to be happening this year. So just if you've got some like random tutu or something like that, that might come in handy and it also will really come in handy if you need a costume and you've got some random costumey bits it saves you going out and buying it when you're at uni at drama school so just little things like that just chuck a couple of those in in case you need them another vital thing that i'm pretty sure everyone at drama school has most people in the world have it have one even if they're not from drama school but i would definitely recommend having a water bottle <laughs> It sounds so stupid, but some people don't have them. A reusable water bottle. I actually take like three with me to uni. So I've got like one that's always in my bag, one that's in my room. Because when you're on the go so much, you need water. And in lessons, you definitely need water. Especially movement-based lessons, dance lessons. You sweat so much, you need water. A water bottle is vital. Maybe even two. And if you want um, like hot drinks, then like a flask or one of the containers to take them in with. Depends whether your drama school allows hot drinks in studios. But if you've got lecture lessons, we all take in um, coffees into our lecture lessons. So it just depends on the rules of your drama school, but definitely a water bottle and loads of snacks. Make sure you take snacks. This is becoming just what to take to drama school, but like in each day. But definitely pack. If you've got some certain snacks you like, make sure you pack some. Or buy some when you get there, because snacks and water are very vital at drama school and anywhere you go really they're very vital snacks snacks are the top of my vital list another thing that i would definitely recommend taking is a small rucksack or backpack for just going into drama school each day you might not think about it but don't take like handbags well you could actually you could you can take whatever bag you want really maybe not something this size that's not going to help you it's something quite substantial you might need to put scripts in there water lunch snacks snacks are the top of my vital list you might need a change of clothes you might need a hoodie you know make sure you've got something substantial that you can fit all that stuff in just to use for your daily bag to uni and back um it'll be very helpful some people take like sports bags so that's funky funky fresh 
If you've got a laptop, then I would definitely recommend taking a laptop because I get set essays and research and films and TV and YouTube, you know, all that stuff. You, you need it on your laptop. So having a laptop at university or drama school is quite important. Well, it's not very important. I'm sure everyone doesn't have one, but if you've got one, then take it because you'll probably need it and you'll probably use it, especially if you don't have a TV, if you're in halls and you don't have a TV license or whatever, then having a laptop just for entertainment purposes is quite handy. But make sure you don't like break the law. I don't really understand the law, but make sure you don't break the law. I just watch YouTube anyway, so. So this is something that I didn't do in first year until the third term. If you play an instrument, I would definitely say take your instrument unless it's a full blown piano. I have a keyboard so thankfully I can fit my keyboard in my room and I can actually transport it to uni and back. That's been really helpful for me because I'm not, I taught myself the keyboard like I'm not a professional at all. I literally just play chords and sing along. So having it has meant that I can just have a little play every so often on it and also if I'm doing singing practice then I have that to warm up and I know the notes and things like that so that's really helpful for me this year. Um, in second year I took it at the end of first year but I didn't really use it because I didn't take the stand and then it couldn't plug in and it was just a bit of a nightmare but in second year it was very useful my friend borrowed it as well and I also played the flute um I was actually grade two back in year four and I decided to bring it back last year and I'm not as good as I used to be but I'm okay still I can play like random notes so anyway I brought my flute to keep practicing keep on top of that and then if you do a show and they say can anyone play instrument you've got your flute you're in you're playing the flute that is what's happened for me so if you play any instrument i definitely recommend taking it ukuleles people have got like ukuleles guitars flutes violins uh recorders any random instrument really just take whatever you have whatever you can play even if you can't play it, actually take it because especially on our course we learn a lot about music and some people have instruments but they can't play them but other people can play them so that's really useful for doing shows or group work anything like that um definitely take them if you have them they do come in handy and i regret not taking it in the start of first year because it might have helped me in those first two terms but yeah they're gonna go with me to third year just in case i need to do them in any show can i think of anything else well obviously you need all your usual toiletries and stuff like that um i'm not going to list all those but yeah that's just normal life you need toiletries clothes underwear whatever things like that you need money student bank card um <laughs> dressing gowns are really useful i have quite a few behind my head there if you're staying in halls then sliders or slippers are quite a good idea and a dressing gown because the fire alarms go off all the time at like four in the morning so you know, if you're in your pyjamas and it's like December, then just shove on your dressing gown, put your slippers or your sliders on and you're out. But I think that concludes this video. I've rambled on a bit. I hope it has given you some insight into things that you might need to pack for drama school if you're going. Please share it if you know you've got friends going to drama school because I definitely could have done with a video like this when I was packing because I just took everything I owned with me. Hopefully these things are sort of the top things that you need. I'm pretty sure these are sort of my essentials. I don't really think I take much else other than that stuff. So yes, I hope this has been useful. If it was useful to you, please remember to give it a thumbs up down below. Comment anything down below about drama school, about uni, what any questions you have, anything like that, any video suggestions. Who knows what drama school is actually going to be like this year, but good luck to anyone who is going. Let me know about your journey at drama school and yeah, I find it really interesting knowing who's watching my videos, if people go to drama school or if they're just looking into it for the future. So let me know, have some conversations with me in the comments. I don't bite, I'm actually quite nice, even if I seem like a weirdo. And yes, have a great day, stay safe, lots of love everybody, and I will see you in the next one. What the, 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 the I can't speak convey. Bish bash boss. Bish bish bash boss. I can't say it. Bish bash bosh. Simple. That's what I was trying to say.